Hi. In this video I want to talk about um, renting a apartment in Germany. Renting. So basically it's not mine. And um, the landlord rents it out for me for 400, 500 euro per month. Mm. And um, what I'm eating is some, oh, I thought it was chewing gum, but it's actually mint. It's very strong. Ooh. <laughs> mm. So, what is happening in Germany? Because Germany is the narcissistic abuse capital of the world. So, it looks like, wow, you can really rent a place here. Mm, and you can have your peace. But what the narcissists do is... They are looking for supply as a landlord. They are the landlords and they want to have the person who's living there as a supply. So they are harassing, stalking. Depending on whether it's a male or a female, the male uh, Narcissists are usually extremely cruel up to the extent that they poison your food or the water supply or that they stalk you or sexually harass you and stuff like that. So the male <coughs> landlords in Germany are highly, highly evil. The female narcissists are highly, highly raging and jealous if the supply moves around and, 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 and takes its space in the rented apartment and has a good time and even making some demands. Yeah? So the female narcissist slowly starts to rage a lot and she would maybe not sexually harass or stalk directly, she would go indirectly through blackmailing, supporting blackmailing, supporting smear campaigns, supporting uh, uh, name calling, supporting stressing the person out first. The Germans, the German narcissists, do not have the emotional confidence and not the emotional silence to think about a strategy. strategy. Most of them are too stupid. Germans do not know anything about strategy, but here comes the clue. If a German is a narcissist, but he's very emotionally like a monkey brain, not calm at all, just raging, you know, this type of German calms down if someone laughs at that narcissist and says, oh, look at you, you stupid monkey brain, you know? Look at you emotional wreck. What the uh, narcissist would do then, he would calm down. He would say, yes, you're right, I'm too weak on my own. So he would team up with a group of other nar narcissists, like for example 10, 20 other narcissists, and gang stalk that person who has called him out, laughing at him or whatever. Then he grabs 20 other narcissists and starts to gang stalk because he's too weak. 
but being too weak is not an excuse for a narcissist. He would team up and gang stalk the person then. So at the moment, um, while I was living in Germany, since I was living in Germany again, um, I got harassed by landladies or by landlords because I think I am kind of like offering myself to narcissists. I'm sniffing out that the narcissists are renting out a cheap place. Cheap. And I'm weak. I, don't, I cannot earn too much money. So I have to rent a cheap place. And usually it's like a spider web, isn't it? The spider is waiting in the background to grab the supply and to trigger, harass, this and that. So since I, I, I was living again in Germany, because I was living in England for a while, um, I always dump, uh, bump into the narcissistic landlords and landladies. This has actually cost, cost me around 20 to 30,000 euro now. Because, of course, if I'm getting abused, I'm just walking away or I'm just not paying my rent and tell her to fuck off. You know, I was very, very uh, uh, raging mad towards these abusive people also. So I was just blocking the money supply, for example. But they don't care because at the end of the day I have to pay it anyway because they have the better lawyers. I cannot r run away and, and not, not, not uh, pay, you know. And um, so this has been happening for 20 years now. Currently I'm li living in an apartment that is usually for tourists. So it has everything in here very cheap 400 euro per month pays the job center I don't I'm not working at the moment so what's happening here is uh, stalking from the outside people again because they're th saying why is a woman living in that house suddenly the Germans are spies you know, someone starts the conversation and says, what's that woman doing there? And then suddenly lots of people would say, strange, what are you doing here? So this is how the smear campaign and the stalking starts from the Germans, that they spy out, oh, something has changed in the house. They are very controlling, control freaks, you know. So they actually, the Germans outdoors, I don't even know them. The people maybe next, there's a school, some children go to school there, or some people are living uh, 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 on the other side of the road and stuff like that, you know. And people walking by, and it's a small town, you know. So they have already sniffed out that someone is living here plus the police is also provoking it the police and the government the job center because they're all kind of like checking my case and i was complaining to amnesty international and to huge organizations until this day against pedophiles against stalkers predators narcissists so I'm, I have started a huge campaign against predators. And of course, predators want to kill me now or harass me. They would rather uh, stress me out and then eat me alive kind of thing as a supply. But what they are doing now is they financially blackmail me. How do they do that? <coughs> People are making up stories. For example, the police was saying I was carrying a gun and I threatened the police with the gun. So this would cost me 1,500 euro now as a charge. Or something could happen. Maybe a child comes running to me and says, excuse me, excuse me. 
And then suddenly that child says to the parents, that woman abu sexually abused me. Hmm? It has happened since four years now that people have accused me of stuff that I have not done, and it was quite the opposite. They have attacked me, and they were saying, like for example, <coughs> a, detec a, de a detective caught me stealing, and he threw me on the floor and held me down until the police came. And um, later on, he told the judge and the police that I kicked him, which was not true, because he was too strong, he held me down. <coughs> I could not kick him at all, it was not a... And the, the people standing around, they were all saying, she, she never kicked this man, uh, no. <laughs> You know, so, um, and I had to pay 800 euro for this accusation. So the accusations so far has cost me 5,000 euro since the past four years. So that's a smear campaign, isn't it? And what is happening now is that someone constantly rings at my doorbell. I do not know who these people are. Once it was the police, once it was the postman, even if I have a P.O. box at the post office, and they know it. So this is also the post people, you know, that the people that are bringing you the letters and stuff like that. They are really nasty also, you know. They have sniffed out that they have quite a lot of power, stalking and harassing people. And that's what they are trying with me also. So what I've done now is uh, I have found a quite good lawyer. And um, I found a few organizations. I'm writing letters and complaints to these organizations. Whenever someone threatens me or is nasty or unfriendly to me in the supermarket or whatever, I'm writing a letter to the, their bosses. What else? So I'm always, always, there's no secret anymore. I'm always, always writing letters to the people that abuse me. Uh, not to the people that abuse me, but to the uh, higher people that are responsible for these people. So if someone is working in a supermarket and he's extremely unfriendly or rude or is um, making a fool out of myself in front of ten people standing there, then of course I write an email to the supermarket owner and I write a letter to the supermarket owner. So I have the double check of, uh, and I'm going straight to the police uh, if someone is rude and I make a charge against them. So I have to defend myself all the time, but uh, I'm, g I'm going to get out of the country soon. So. They cannot do anything anymore. <laughs>